Houston station on space to ground. Another out of this world view of a massive storm. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. The station trained its cameras on Hurricane Matthew this week from over 250 miles above. The orbiting lab flew over the storm multiple times as it churned through the Caribbean. Capturing video using the newly installed HD cameras, the powerful Category 4 hurricane was observed as it passed over Haiti and Cuba and slowly continued north towards the southeastern United States. Packing winds in excess of 140 miles per hour, it was another spectacular, if sobering, view of the power of Mother Nature. The next resupply mission from Orbital ATK has a new launch date. The company's sixth cargo flight is now scheduled to launch on October 13th. Packed with more than 5,000 pounds of experiments and supplies, it will be the first flight on a newly upgraded Antares rocket since a launch failure in October 2014. On board the station, Kate Rubens and Takuya Onishi spent the week brushing up on their robotic skills as they'll be responsible for capturing Cygnus once it arrives. This week, Twitter user Jay wanted to know why progress docks itself while Cygnus and Dragon have to be captured. Well, let's look at some of the differences between docking and berthing. A spacecraft docking is essentially a controlled collision and requires extra infrastructure like a docking port to happen, something Roscosmos has historically developed for both their Soyuz and Progress spacecraft. To make the first generation of commercial cargo a little easier, spacecraft were designed to attach to the common berthing mechanisms already on the U.S. station modules, the same ports that are used to link each module together. Future spacecraft under the CRS-2 contract will have the option to dock to the new international docking adapter or continue the capture and berthing method. One advantage of berthing is you get the full diameter of the hatch to move cargo in and out since the docking mechanism makes that space smaller. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.